Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-October bonus general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a person reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So, y'all took it all the way back for me. I have not heard from this artist literally since I was a teenager or my early 20s. I can't remember when this song came out, but I remember hearing it in my um, MTV days when I actually watched TV because they used to play it often on MTV. When I was meditating over the energy, the song that I heard was Ironic by Alanis Morissette. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, Miss Alanis Morissette happens to be a Gemini like your girl. And um, in the song, you know, she basically talks about irony, the irony of a situation. And it's interesting because when I hear Ironic, I always get the vibe or I immediately think about, isn't it funny? Like, isn't it funny how things played out? Or isn't it funny how things are turning out? And immediately what I heard, and, and I should have showed you guys the cards that I had in each deck before I changed them from the top and the bottom, but that's fine. But in this deck, you had a lot of positive stuff happening, like a lot of positive stuff coming into your life. And in this deck, it was like a lot of challenging things, like things, and but I, even though this is the outcome, I was immediately picking up this up as like the past. Like I was getting like, isn't it ironic how at this same time last year you felt like, oh my God, I'll be single forever. Or, oh my God, I'll never get over this person. Or you're just so heartbroken, heartbroken and devastated about a specific love interest. And you didn't feel like you would ever get over this person. And now you are getting ready to go into a new cycle, getting ready to date someone new, already dating someone new, connecting with new people. And you're healed and completely no longer thinking about this person. Or this person is literally being ushered out of your energy right now. So it's like the irony of feeling like, something will never change but I, I feel like massive changes sweeping changes are coming in and you guys birthday seasons are coming up next so I always tell people like right before your birthday season and it doesn't start like in your birthday season but right before your birthday season like weeks before you can feel shifts coming in you know what I mean and I feel like a lot of you guys are getting ready to experience that if you have not already so let's see what's going on for you guys today bottom of the deck now y'all see what I just did here didn't it okay Wheel of Fortune, Fate, and Destiny is turning in your goddamn favor. Um, and it's coming in. If you think about it, you guys season starts in what? October. Look what you got right here. X. Roman numeral X means what? 10. So uh, I, that's what I'm saying. Even if you are a November um, Scorpio, doesn't matter. Like the changes are coming in. Didn't I say sweeping? I'm, I'm getting sweeping. Changes and it's positive. You guys are much stronger now. You feel more abundant. You all the monkey business is going out of the picture. Like all the craziness is done. It's over. I definitely feel like abundance is coming towards you. I also feel like the lessons that you learned from the monkey business has made you much stronger because at the very top you have the lion here and the strength there. So I feel like you're much stronger because of this situation. Much stronger. Much more in your power. For some of you guys, if you were passive aggressive, you're speaking up for yourself now. Also, I just said Alanis Morissette is a Gemini, and then you have the King of Swords. Male, female, however it applies. You may have a uh, air sign. I want to say water. No such thing as uh, coincidence or accidents. Okay, I want to show you something. I almost said a water sign. And if you notice right here on each side of his throne, it looks like water drops. So some of you guys could definitely be connected with somebody who is either air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a water sign like yourself, Cancer, Pisces, or a fellow Scorpio. You have somebody coming in towards you. Page of Wands. So pages are always messengers. Some type of message, hot message. It may be a flirty message. Whoever this is, this person is definitely thinking about you sexually. If you are single and somebody's coming in, somebody's thinking about you sexually. And also, you know, Wands is action, forward movement, tenacity, getting things done. So something is definitely coming in. If you look at his foot, look at it. That foot is off the ground. So it's like something's coming in now. It's getting ready. Something's heading your direction now. And it's going to be something that's going to make you happy. Could be a fire sign also. You do have Leo Sash Aries here. And then at the very top, you have Leo energy with that um that lion. Okay. So we're going to go through the deck until we get you guys Major Arcana, which is the death card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Wow. And then we'll get clarifiers for both. You just have the king of swords, not a queen of swords. Whoever you have coming in, this, this looks like this is going to be your end all be all. Because you got the will of fortune, fate, and the destined connection with someone. And then also, that was a 10. 10 in numerology talks about finalities. That's the end. This is your end all, be all. Yeah? 
You already had the king and I had a queen. Definitely a pair, long-term commitment. Kings and queens are nothing short-lived. They are talking about, like, are we getting married or what? As a matter of fact, we are getting married because it's already written in the cards. When you think about kings and queens, they are already born with consorts or counterparts, already assigned to them. It's like arranged marriage things with the kings and queens. So the universe has already arranged your person to come into your reality, like, now. And it's like, what I'm hearing, again, because I'm hearing the hook of the song, Isn't it Ironic, it's like the irony of it all. Again, at this time last year, you may have been very guarded. But around this time, now, it's like you're allowing it to come in. <laughs> then I say it could be a fellow water sign. You have cancer right here with the chariot. Literally, that's right up under there. I love this for you guys. Okay. So let's go ahead and go. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't skip over this. So yeah, Queen of Swords, chariot, temperance. Star card. So you have um, Cancer, Sag, Aquarius. Star card is wish fulfillment and healing. Then I say everything that you're wishing for, you're getting that and some. Abundance and blessings are headed your way. I like it. I can't deny it. I like it. Okay, so let's see. Scorpio, Scorpio, someone rising Venus. And we didn't get that far in the deck before we got it. So this is coming soon for a lot of you all. Like I said, the cycle could be coming in around the time of your birthday. You may meet someone. You could be out and about socializing. For a lot of you guys, you're going to meet somebody when you're out and about socializing. If you know that you're not a social person, because I know Scorpios, you guys are very energy sensitive. My son's a Scorpio. He's a Halloween Scorpio at that. And he loves being social, but he doesn't. You get what I'm saying? You guys get what I'm saying because you're Scorpios, right? And it's like you guys like being around certain energy, but you absorb so much energy. So you need a lot of time to detox after you've been around people a lot. So... If you go through that phase, like most people do on their birthdays and feel like, oh, I don't really want to go out and socialize. I just want to just chill. I feel like social media, like if you don't meet someone in a physical, social media may play a big role in meeting someone. Like say, for instance, if you are on social media platforms, people may be posting happy birthday messages to you. Somebody may slide in your inbox and wish you a happy birthday. And then if you respond, this is their way to like start a conversation with you. I'm getting that also. So, right in front of you, then I say somebody gonna slide in your damn inbox. Didn't I say this to y'all, Scorpio? Pages are always messengers, okay? Pages, the pages so is the eye spy lurker, somebody keeping tabs, but more than anything, this is somebody coming in with some communication. Right behind you, you have the hermit Virgo energy. Um, I, I feel like what I'm hearing right now is you're a year wiser, you know, and again, we are approaching your birthday season. So it's like you're wise. You're, you're seeing things a little differently now because the hermit is someone who's seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity, spiritual evolution. This person's on a spiritual path. This is the path that they're going to go down alone. And I feel like that's where you are right up under it. You got the seven of cups, illusion, confusion, feeling scattered, but also keeping your options open. If you notice what's central, that rose, the rose has one of the highest love vibrations on all planet earth so i definitely feel like a lot of you all are seeking or you went through a cycle of seeking love seeking mm, okay thank you and i know this may sound like a lame message but i'm hearing this very clearly a lot of you guys may have been seeking love for a very long time but you realize that the love that you were seeking was within you i know that sounds cliche and lame because i just get that I'm hearing right now you trust the process. You trusted the process, and that's why you're so far on your path as you are now. A lot of you guys took the, the time out to focus on you. Something significant could have happened that sent you into some type of um, mode to where you wanted to seek yourself. Could have went to some type of spiritual awakening. Also, some of you all could really be tapped in right now to spirituality, like looking into crystals, meditating, Questioning your life purpose. Um, some of you guys are needing to look up your life purpose number or your life path number. Also, your personal year number because it's a lot of information involved in that for you. Okay. Bottom of the deck, eight of wands. Fast moving communication coming in unexpectedly. Hmm. I'm, I'm going to say again, isn't it ironic how at this time last year you may have been single or you may have thought that you would never meet your person, but look at you. Something's coming in very quickly. For some of you guys, you may have met someone in August. Or you could be dealing with an August Leo, okay? Let's part the deck so we can shuffle. You have the King of Pentacles. Again, this is not something short-lived. This is something stable and secure. Pentacles talks about setting a foundation and security. Something of value. Pentacles hold value. Um, 
Taurus energy here. I feel like for some of you guys, you definitely have someone who has who's very grounded, very secure, certain. They know what they want, and they're coming towards you very quickly. Because you do have pentacles here, and then right here you have Virgo. Pentacle energy also. And Virgo season does start in August, and you have 8 August. So some of you guys could have recently met someone in August, and, and you may be bringing in your birthday with this person. Again, I keep getting, isn't it ironic how just last year you were single, bringing in your birthday on your own, but for some of you guys, you could be, you know, eight again, you could be um, bringing in your birthday with someone that you just met. And then also, I'm getting that some of you guys can meet someone within the next eight days. Also, huh? Or eight days after your birthday. Bottom of the deck, you have... The Four of Swords. Now, Four of Swords, pull back, retreat, meditate, go within, and reverses someone who could be a bit restless. They're not taking that time to rest and pull back because they're constantly on a journey. I feel like a lot of you are definitely on a journey to find self. Or in the past, you because in reverse, sometimes that gives me the energy of past. In the past, you were always on a lurk or on a search for your true love. But I want to say again, as lame as it sounds, it's like I found myself. Like, I, I get it. Because you are cups, and you're putting yourself first. You have the central that rose there. It's, it, I don't know why, but it's making me think about the heart. You know how rose has many petals and many layers? I feel like the heart, your heart has healed quite a bit. The many layers of your heart has healed. So let's get a clarify for the page of swords. Damn, look at that. Flipped all on the table. So you have two of pentacles in reverse. Interesting. So two of pentacles up, upright. Let's talk about juggling. Um uncertainty to a numerology also talks about balance duality couples union and reverse again i'm gonna say you may not have ooh, you may not have had many options but just notice that you know i always say this with this card you got two ships relationships one ship leaving a picture that has a lot of baggage and a new ship coming in and reverse it's like you may not have felt like you had any options at all but now that's all changed. You guys, if you are single, you definitely got somebody who has had their eyes on you for a while. And they're just waiting for the chance to come in and communicate. And I feel like your birthday is going to be the perfect opportunity. Because if you notice, I always tell you, sort up is just sort down. No, this sort of sideways. So this is someone who you haven't had contact with yet. They're not sure because this could be uncertainty. You see how he's kind of, look at his face. He's looking like, I don't know what to do. Look at him. So this person isn't sure how they're going to approach you. Definitely for some of you guys, it's something involving an earth sign. Pentacles, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, something with an earth sign. They're waiting for the right chance to, or what they predicted or perceive as the right chance or opportunity to come in and communicate with you. They may have did you dirty in the past. You got that snake right in front of them. And snakes are all, not always negative, right? Snakes also talk about transformation. I feel like for you, there's transformation. But I feel like as far as somebody from your past, they may have did you dirty. While they were already in a relationship with you, they were also coasting along with somebody else. Bottom of deck, see? Confirmation. Ten of swords, stabbed in the back and betrayed. In reverse, that's why I said. In the past, somebody betrayed you. Snake. Juggling. Because this, this is a juggler also. Mm-hmm. I knew it. I knew it. Let's get a clarify for the hermit. Clarify for the hermit, for Scorpio, someone who has a Venus individuals. Who is Somebody is a Carol. Someone's mother's name is Carol. Carolyn. An ex's mother is Carol Carolyn and a niece. And I don't I don't know a niece. Do I know a niece? I don't know. But I'm hearing a niece. A-N-I-S-E. Or a Nisa or a Nisha. Five of Pentacles, lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold in reverse. I'm going to say again, for some of you guys, there's definitely an earth sign who wants to come back. And here's the thing. Like I said in the beginning, isn't it ironic? I automatically hear, isn't it funny? Isn't it funny how all of a sudden this person wants to come out of the cold after they juggled you and played games and did all types of shady stuff and you're moving on and you're healed? Queen of Cups, this is your energy, male or female upright. You have healed. You're sitting on your throne. You're sitting in your power. You're no longer interested in this person's offer. Uh, but I do feel like they're gonna come in and try to offer you something. But your cloak, your inf your your emotions are shut off to this person. She has a cup, but it has a lid on it. Shut off, sealed. Also, in another aspect, you do have a new offer coming in, and the fact that it has a lid on it is because you haven't met this person yet. But you do have another offer coming in as far as love. If you are single, you guys definitely have somebody from your past in your his in your um energy coming in i definitely feel like this person is definitely going to try to use your birthday to reach out and communicate with you they're gonna try to act like oh i just want to wish you a happy birthday but no that this is their way of trying to come out of the cold 
connected to you, okay? So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.